you introduce all of your friends here? I should have, when I set this up over there, talked about the fact that you've been responsible for some hits by Pat Benatar, Tina Turner, Rod Stewart, Anna Motion, Hart, and a raft of other people. Why did you decide to do this? I just think I wanted to perform. Seemed like a good idea at the time. It seemed like a good idea. I think I, I was getting a little jealous because some of my friends, you know, <laughs> they were making videos, and I thought, wait a minute. I'd, I'd like to be doing this. So. Tell me about the people you put together, the band right behind us. We have Pat Reagan on keyboard. Thank you, Pat, for joining us over here on drums. Mark Nelson on drums. Thank you. We'll skip all the way down to the end of the guitarist. Gino Black. Thank you, Gene, very much. And the vocalist. And Paul Engerman. Let me, let me uh, take this thing in between you. Gather around a little bit. Why did you pick Paul to do the singing? Uh, well, he sings great, and he looks marvelous. He looks great. <laughs> yeah. All right, two things, Rand. Is her stuff hard to sing? It is difficult, yeah. It's, it's uh, vocally demanding, but it's also uh, really uh, fulfilling to do. It's a challenge, <laughs> I think, is the word. Gene, you've worked with a lot of people. Why is this band different? Why did you want to work with these people? Just uh, the direction. Holly's writing. Uh, we hit it off together. We wrote some stuff together. I said, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> let's do it. It's the magic that counts when you bring it together. What do you hope for the future, now that you're out front and not just watching other people do your stuff? Well, we'd like to, I hope this doesn't sound pretentious or bombastic, we'd like to have a number one record. Why not? Reach, no, you will. It's inevitable. It will happen. All you got to do is put it in your head.